Mr. Jr. Coach, if you could introduce your student athletes that are joining you and open up with some additional comments about today's game. Uh, to my left, junior guard, Krista White. To my right, uh, sophomore point guard, Aja Jordan. Uh, we just, we got outplayed, bottom line. Uh, I think we had a great game plan. I think that was evident in the first half. Uh, but then there in the second quarter, uh, they went on a little run, which we knew they were going to do. And uh, we just began to kind of hang our heads a little bit instead of pushing through. Uh, and again, that's something that I talked about yesterday in the press conference that this team has to go for. And uh, it was evident that they wanted it more than us tonight. Uh, very talented ball club, well coached. Uh, again, Kiana is is, uh, is definitely well deserving of play of the year. That, that, that kid is tough. Um, but you also have to give credit to everyone else. Um, they believe in one another. They believe in what they do, and they stick to it. And uh, that that's why they're moving on, and we're not. The floor is now open for any questions or comments. If we could please start with the student athletes first. Hey, um, either um, Ms. White or Ms. Jordan, um, the Virginia Union players say that this game has been circled. They kind of hesitated to say it, but the coach said that this game has been circled very much on their schedule coming in. Did you all talk about this coming in, that they were, they only had two losses, they would be primed to try to take you guys out this time? No. <laughs> <Got me. laughs> How you doing? Um, yes, this they were right. The game circled. We beat them at our house, and they thought it was a controversy to win. So we knew coming in here they were gonna come to play hard. Then they haven't played before. So yes, we talked about it, but not as much as they probably talked about it. We just wanted to go out and just play our game. But tonight they just had a way better night than we did. I mean, we couldn't do anything about it till the end. Was this Jordan in the second quarter that Union flipped the switch on, or was it just better execution on their side, or what? It was definitely better execution on their part, because yeah, we just, we weren't executing. It's not even that they were, you know, just doing things special. It's us that really just about playing like we should have been. So that was our fault. Coach Jordan, can you, uh, can you uh, talk about how Kia Kian is different from other players? She actually 28 points to lead the nation in scoring. Apparently, some, some of the other great women who played in the Seattle Lane. Okay. She got to go. Bosco, Shaw. Bosco, Nastasia Bosco from Shaw. Okay. With B1. Uh, I can't recall the kid's name right now, but the kid that played at Bowie back in probably around about 04, 05. Uh, that scored a lot of points. Uh, but she, she's just a, she's a talented kid. She's the talent that we were used to seeing in the AA when I was growing up. Uh, before these kids started going to more mid-major schools and things like that, PW schools, where the, the black talent had to stay at the black school. Uh, but, uh, you know, anytime you can bring a kid like that, that's something that I think all of us are trying to do. Uh, but, I mean, you know, I mean, we held it to 11 points in the first half. Uh, so, I mean, I think our game plan and plan was strong. Uh, we, we were one of the only teams this year to hold to under 20 when we beat them at our place. Uh, so we knew what to do. We just stopped doing what we were doing. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. That's not me saying that kid can't play. But I think we had enough of a team to take her away. We had enough bodies to run at her, to make her force and give the ball up, to make other players play. Uh, we just did not do that. We allowed 12 to get open, which we know she's nothing but a catch and shoot kid. And all she did was what? Now, if you're sitting here talking to me about that kid going to the basket, that's a whole nother story. So again, not taking anything away from you because you still got to hit that shot. Kiana still got to do what she does. The lady and the other young lady inside still got to rebound the ball, and they did that. I just felt that my kids could have fought harder. Uh, and that starts with me as the head coach, not putting the blame solely on them. But that starts with me. I have to find a way to push them harder to get them to play hard. This concludes the session of our post-game wrap-up. We would like to thank you for joining us.